All right. We are live, I guess. Um, I am Code Dameron. I am potentially going to be joined by Haxon soon. And we are here watching the first round of the top cut. This is the game between Donovan and John Elf. Um, we just did hot takes yesterday, and it was fantastic. I think it was yesterday. Um, and all of New York got put in a corner, and they said, okay, let's just play our games. Um, Haxon might join us, but uh, he and Jim may play a game. But otherwise, we're here to watch this set. This is a best of best of five. No time limit. And yeah, so we know th these these players have open deck lists. They know they they actually know each other's deck, decks very well. Uh, by the luck of the draw, these two got paired up, and these two did a lot of their deck building and theory cra theory crafting together. You'll notice that their light side lists they're a little out of order, but they're functionally the same. I think John Elf has um, no Luke, but he has a Falcon and a Gamma run, and Donovan has the uh, he has the Luke. What is it? Planning and, and the Dodonna. Yeah, not surprised Donovan is where, uh, running Dodonna, and then. And then on the dark side, uh, they have almost exactly the same list. Donovan is running double Krennic, whereas John Elf drops a Krennic to grab an extra Staz for the double hostile planet and goes to 11 for the Tag Crash. That's what John Elf does. John Elf is actually at 11 pods for both of his decks. He grabs Hera, Asteroid Sanctuary, and Gamma Run for Donovan's... Oh, Donovan also has Asteroid Sanctuary. Donovan grabs... I don't know. Yeah, looking back and forth. Decks are tricky. Important thing to note, John Elf is actually running 11 pods in both of his decks. And they're very similar, and they're very familiar with each other's decks. It does look like Xavier and Jim are playing on the side. Um, look, I've got three games going here. There's the Jim and Donovan game. There's the Jim and John Elf game. There is the John Elf and Donovan game. Jim and Xavier, John Elf and Donovan, and then the Ledix and Mitch game. This is still their game one. Uh, oh, wow. It does look like uh, Mitch is making a bit of a comeback in this game. Uh, but he's not making a ton of headway. Um, Josh has been capturing a lot of his things. But I guess that's that's just something to watch while we wait for Donovan and John off to set up. Donovan did get for a higher seed, so he did get to pick the side to start. He did choose to go dark side. So let's look at his dark side list. Donovan is running... These two players are actually, I think, the only ones running mono navy lists, and they're running. They're the only ones running stats. They're both doing this double protect the generator thing because they decided that um, promotions is that good. Promotion is very strong. Promotion gets you a bunch of icons. It makes the board very hard to figure out, and like having the stats um, events. And the th one Thrawn event and having all the officers is actually worth it. You put all the things together, you get some free untaps, you get a lot of aggression in a, in a dark side board where there's not a ton of actually offensive pods. But between all the Endor things, all the all the black bombs, you have the Chimera, you have the Interdictor as a 1x. There's a lot of black bombs in this navy deck. Note that Donovan is a scum-affiliated navy deck just so to, just to avoid... Cassian things, which is kind of in theme throughout this this tournament. Everyone's running Rex with something, Cassian's there a lot, and Cassian cancels things that are in faction, so let's just not have any of that. Donovan Flops are very nice six money. Um, double Might is always good because it's more money, it's more elite, it's more focus refresh, but there's not as many cap ships in this list as there normally would be. Um, there's not even a Sector Garrison. Uh, there's no Zed in here. Am I right? Am I right about that? No Zed? Might generator power. There's like the Thunderflare doesn't bene benefit from being elite. Um, which is fine. Okay, so here's Staz. This is a strong turn one Donovan using his extra cash to full effect. Ooh. Staz and Gladiator? Does he have enough cash for that? He has functionally seven dollars. 
Oh, so Staz is actually a champion on this board because Staz is a character officer trooper. He gets all three. Um, oh, let me... Is this worth doing right now? I'm not gonna... Uh, should I do this right now? I'm gonna do it. Properties. This, okay. Where is it? Where's my window? There it is. Oh boy. Transform. Reset transform. All right. Take a quick look at Staz. Staz is a character officer trooper shielding two health. Um, the important thing to note here is he is an officer and a trooper. Uh, so he gets all of the toys that officers get. Well, he also gets reduced by... Uh, his cost gets reduced by Donovan's trooper money. So Donovan can do this seven money turn by having the double might and the plus one dollar from the fleet staging area but he actually still gets to pay play his trooper money because he gets full efficiency off of off of staz so this is really strong the interaction between staz and gladiator let's pull up staz again bup, 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 bup. um staz says edge stacks cannot have more than two cards in them this is Always. This is just hard limit. Edge stacks cannot have more than two cards. So if you edge with your gladiator, if you if you bring gladiator staz to a fight, then staz gives you a shield. They both have two health. You get to decide who's more important. Clearly Donovan. Okay, Donovan's happy to commit the gladiator because he's elite because of double might. Staz suddenly says, okay, your gladiator, you edge one card to activate the gladiator. The gladiator can't dump more cards in. It, unless there's at least one card. But then you can't ever get more than two. If you had double gladiator, you could still only put one more card. This is proven strong against dark side decks that have uh, Rex. These Rex decks end up having a dozen cards in their hand to go into the edge battle. So having Staz out there says, okay, for the important edge battle, you got to limit it to two. Let's count John Elf's twists. I see one from Secret, one from Gamma. I'm sorry, one from Asteroid Sanctuary. I only see two twists. Am I blind? Is there a Dodonna? No. So two twists. And Donovan is running only the one bootleg twist in Hostile Planet, which can get dumped in from the Gladiator. So Donovan's got this four card first turn. But still is holding two cards, which is a functionally full edge hand. It's probably John has, uh, has an interesting choice here. He plays he plays Money Ghost uh, hired hands on a board with um, with Gamma Run. John has a great opening turn. You can commit one or both of those units very reasonably and reliably get Gamma Run. So if Donovan were to play a Chimera on his second turn. He would have one, two, three, four dollars. Okay, he couldn't play a Chimera. Let's play, say he plays Thrawn. Three dots. Commit to, to five. John Elf would only... If John Elf were to flip a two-dot card or even a one-dot card after committing both of his guys, Donovan would have... I've got to commit Staz and another guy. Staz is three dots? Look at that. What a champion. Good card. Um. Okay. But John Alf doesn't do any of that. John Alf attacks. John Alf is thinking about attacking. And and Donovan's putting his whole hand on the table saying, Hey, look, I got two cards. And John, okay, look at John Alf's board too. John Alf is also very kindly getting this cost reduction um from pushing back the Empire. Okay, so John Alf John Alf does not attack. John Alf commits the ghost. Gets five on the fours. John Alf does not commit the hired hands. I don't like this. I think you're supposed to commit the hired hands here. Even if you're holding make your own luck. Um, Donovan can make an aggressive play to tap the ghost, kill the hired hands. I think there's not a whole lot that you lose from committing the hired hands unless you're trying to actually hold a force long long term. Um, Donald makes an interesting pitch. John Alf pitches take the shot. 
take the shot's a really cool card. I, I love that card. It says, let's, let's, go, let's go get it. Let's go look at the card. Um, I gotta be over here. Take the shot says, um, after one or more focus tokens are removed from a unit during the conflict phase, focus a navy unit to destroy it. It's free, right? It's gotta be easy to play. Turns out it's very conditional. Turns out it's very strong, but it requires you to have a big board. It requires the opponent to have a specific trick, which there are a lot of on the light side. Uh, I don't know how many John Elf has of that trick in this deck. He's got Gamma. I mean, he's got Asteroid Sanctuary, so it does exist. Not a ton. He does not. He's not running Trust Your Feelings. But it's certainly too early for for Donovan to play it. Okay, so here here comes that turn that we were talking about with Donovan. Donovan finds a three dot card uh, to put uh, that he wants to commit on the table. He he doesn't want to commit Staz. But John Elf here, it's hard for him to actually keep the fourth. Okay, and he flips. That's actually a tough a tough rip. If John Elf had committed the hired hands. Donovan would have been able, would have been forced to commit both of his guys. He would have been for Don, Donovan would have been fine. He would have been at eight on the force with two elite guys on the force. That's probably great. Staz doesn't like to be on the force at all, but at the end of the day, it's probably worth taking the force there and killing the hands. Um, but John for not committing the hands loses his hands. Let's. I mean, he might be able to get them back. He still has Gammer, but he lost the Phantom. And losing the Phantom in this in this deck is just just annoying. The Phantom's really good. Uh, the Phantom is one of the ways that John Elf can actually push through an attack through a bunch of guns. Reasonably, John Elf isn't going to have to push it. Uh, there aren't a lot of super big unit damage units in Donovan's deck. He's got the Chimera. That's three guns. But he's not running Thunder Flare. Oh, no, he's running Thunder Flare. That's another three unit. He's not running Golans. All right. Yeah, no Golans, um, and no Stalker. But he is running Promotion, and Promotion is mostly used to like promote a black tactics onto a little guy after you lose the edge, because you can promote it anywhere you want. Um, so losing the Phantom isn't that bad, but it's a really good card to have out like with the Ghost. Yeah, I really would have liked to see John Elf commit the other hired hands. So, I mean, I'm nitpicking here. Donovan's got a great start. And honestly, John Elf's got a pretty good start, too. Turn one, Money Ghost. Take the Force. He has a... He, he went into his next turn. I don't think he's pitched yet. Um, he's holding an ally, as we know, from from the previous Gammer. I, I don't mind pitching the allies here. He only has one unit. He doesn't want to, really want to attack with Ghost, because then he'll just get locked down forever. Here comes Krennic, lock you down. This is tricky. Like, clearly John Elf's game plan is to hang out, draw a bunch of cards, find his money enhancements, find his Rex enhancement, um, eventually get some big fancy boards with a bunch of money and a bunch of big plays. But to do that, you gotta start pitching the the cards you don't need. Which to me is right right now it's uh the allies. Okay. But John Elf instead plays three units of different affiliations. That's a good allies board. Um he doesn't look like he's very much in a position to take the force. He could commit the Battle of the Engineers. It, it is really nice to see John Elf play, um playing six money worth of cards on a five money board. He's used pushing back the Empire twice this game. That's very strong. Oh, and Donovan, Donovan didn't even use his uh, trooper money that last turn. His turn was fine. Donovan's turn was great. Um, but it looks like John Elf is considering an attack. He's thinking, okay, Donovan's got four cards in hand. How bad can an attack be? Uh, I'm looking at John Elf's board. If John Elf gets an attack through, we know he's going to have an allies, at least one allies. He's going to have two shields. Donovan can get through a double shielded unit. Um, by using Krennic's double tactics. He has to win the edge battle. Um, if Donolf attacks, he's not really afraid of losing anything on the attack itself. Um, he's going to eat some stuff on a shield. He's going to lose the force. He'll get some damage through. Like Maybe you can pink off, uh, plink off a gladiator or the staz through a shield in this fight. And that's what Jonoff would be looking for. Either get some early damage or to kill the gladiator. You, you can't kill the gladiator because it's got indoor entrapment behind it. Um, 
Yeah, an attack here from John Elf seems a little bit hopeful. It will let him get some cards out of his hand. Um, and you know one of them is going to be the allies. Like, maybe he attacks with the Battlefield Engineers, frees up his money on pushing, and then has one of the events from Han. Okay. I'm just talking about possibilities. John Elf is clearly holding something. I'm a little surprised the Battlefield Engineers aren't coming. Because, sure, they don't have a gun. Uh, they don't They don't have a bomb. But they do have a black gun, which is threatening to John, uh, Donovan's board. And... And they would free up the money. And he, I guess he's planning on committing him. Like, he better be. Donovan does have enough tactics to more or less handle John Elf's board if he, if he wins the edge. John Elf's basically just trying to play the, the functional cards in it. Okay, John Elf actually has Gamma. John Elf will probably take the force after, after this is all said and done. But John Elf is showing, A, he's showing no tactics. B, he's showing no dollars. And... What could John Elf, what could John Elf lose from this? How bad could it be? I think the answer is very bad. I think better than John, uh, worse than John Elf thinks. Donovan could play. I think Donovan's best play the next turn is going to be an Endor ATST. Those things cost two. They double strike. They have black bomb. John Elf's going to have no board that's good at handling that unit. John Elf's going to lose. Going to take at least six damage next turn. And probably get a couple more tactics into his face from Krennic or Staz. I don't mind. Like, I'm saying all of this, and what it amounts to is I don't see this going well for John Elf. I see things happening for John Elf. I, I see him, like, progressing his game, but I see Donovan's game going much faster. Let's take a quick peek at some of these other games. Josh is still holding on in this game one. This might be game three by now. Yeah, it looks like game three. Yeah, those are different. Those are different objectives. That that can't be. Uh, that might be the same game. Ooh, long game. And then hide non-video participants, please. The Xavier Jim game. Ooh, Xavier is eating a bunch of stuff. He's got all these units. But Jim's got nothing. Jim, where are your cards? Ooh, rough. All right. So. John Elf attacks. Donovan defends with just a gladiator. Um, note that Staz isn't here. That means no shields. That means uh, John Elf can put as many cards in the edge as he wants. He has three cards. He could put all three. Donovan doesn't really have a whole lot of twists, but he has the gladiator. He has supporting fire. That's supporting fire. Let me just ask that. Okay. Hey, that's supporting fire, Donovan? Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Um. All right. So... Donovan edges supporting fire here, which combined with the gladiator says he can have as much as edge as he feels like. Donovan's not losing the edge. But John Elf here, of the four in his deck from double Cassie and double Rex, uh, has two allies. Yeah, okay, so here's here's Donovan edging a card in his hand. Noting note that he has four cards in hand and Endor Entrapment. So Donovan is trying to also hedge not losing this gladiator. That's part of not bringing Staz. Staz can't be protect, protected from Endor Entrapment or Krennic. Donovan was actually afraid of potentially, maybe not losing the edge, but taking enough black guns from at least one allies in the Ghost to lose to Krennic. Okay. I think... Let's say, let's let's listen in for a second. Gun... Black gun... Black tactics bomb? Is that the white icon? No, uh, white... It's black bomb, white tactics... Oh, okay. But, um, great, great. Yeah. I so guess I'm, win I'm winning. Uh, right, so. right. So you've got a gun and a tactics. Cool. Um, allies yeah. will go off. And yeah. they will give. Uh, I guess we'll do. Um, and, 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 James just showed well, up in the, in I the chat. I don't think it matters. Uh, we're going to give. Just kind of watching too. That's what we'll that split the is. difference and do gun bomb on each ghost and saboteur. Okay, so, so gun bomb, okay. gun bomb. So they each get an extra gun and an extra bomb. And so the ghost is at three gun. Okay, that's an interesting choice. Um, I don't mind it. It, it Johnoff basically says, okay, now I have two units 
that can kill your gladiator. Also, don't worry about this guardian. It, it, don't, it's nothing to see here. Um, Jonov intends to shoot the gladiator twice for at least three guns each. So John, uh, may, maybe Jonov will protect it for for a second. Um, which is cool. Good play by Jonov. I, I like the attack given Donovan's defense. Uh, let's see where Donovan puts icons. And gun into the uh, Guardian. Sure. Is there going to be a deflection? Cool. Nope. Um, I'll Don strike with the saboteur, two guns. One, two, three, into four. Into that thing Shh. and a bomb on the objective. Yeah. So Jonoff isn't actually going to get the objective here. Strike with uh, the ghost. Do guns to nobody. Do one, two bombs to the objective. I'll prevent that with Endor Entrapment mm -hmm. by discarding. That's a been errata. No, no, no. It's just vehicles. That's an yep. errata. Oh. Okay. Whoops. All right. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. That's so that's fine, up yeah. to three. Yep. Oh, man. Donovan. You gotta poke the uh, Donovan forgetting that Endor Entrapment was nerfed by FFG. Um, Endor Entrapment used to say, hey, you can discard cards in your hand to prevent damage to units and objectives. Uh, Navy vehicles and Navy objectives. But FFG is like, wait a second, we didn't mean to let you stop a three-bomb strike with a pitch of a Chimera. It only protects vehicles now, which is still strong. And John Elf did play around it, so functionally it's not a whole lot of a difference here, but Donovan can't prevent two monster damage from going into the Endor Entrapment. Um, with uh, Donovan can't prevent it with Endor Entrapment. Um, okay. So what else did Donovan accomplish? Donovan lost his Gladiator, which I'm a little upset about. I think Donovan could have defended a little bit more aggressively, got the Krennic tactics off, and and kind of saved face a little bit. Then he probably would have lost Staz. He would have lost Staz. He would have taken a lot of damage on Staz. And then he was also afraid of maybe the deflection. Um, but remember, Donovan's only running one Endor Entrapment. That's kind of where I was going with this. Um, uh, Don Donovan lost half of his Gladiators here. And having one out with Staz is pretty strong. Maybe maybe actually less strong than, than it would normally be. Okay. So Donovan... Uh, John Elf actually gets more out of this turn than I thought. The second Allies of Necessity is very nice, but as we expected, John Elf has no claim to the Force. Uh, Donovan's extra tactics landed on the Engineer and made sure of that. Maybe John Elf could have baited that tactics onto the Guardian by giving it a bomb from the Allies. Probably a bad play, but it's a play. Um, what can Donovan do to crack back here? Uh, Donovan, is is he going to go for bombs or is he going to go for tactics? I want to see bombs. I want to see him play down one or even two Endor ATSTs. One, while well, he still has an Endor objective out to double strike with it. He has the Endor outpost, and that's also another way. Um, but I don't think I don't think Donovan attacking with tactics here as his main plan is good enough. The Guardian and the Engineer don't really pose that much of a threat, and the Ghost and the Saboteur are already focused are are still shielded. So focus over focusing them doesn't really do much. Yeah, I would like to see Donovan get bombs in here, which knowing Donovan is a thing that he plans to do. Now let's take let's take a peek at other games. I'm seeing Jim. Oh, Xavier's bored. He's got the shield double DP twenties. He's got the Dengar. Dial's only at four though. That day, Xavier ha have all this stuff with very little money and dial it four. He's also got the, the inertial dampeners on the DP-20. That's kind of nice. Jim is doing some paltry attacks probably to pitch his hand. He has a lot of cards. Um, Thanks to the, the, the money. Looking at the Josh game. I don't think anything's happening here. It looks like Josh or Mitch is having camera troubles. Um... Still waiting on Donovan. Donovan is taking his time. Oh, it's fun having three games to, to kind of jump back and forth on. Means I can always keep the action going. 
Okay. So I've talked about Donovan. What do we want to see from him? What do we want to see from Jim? Let's just let's just take a look at this game. Um, I know I don't have their deck lists up, but they're all on Card Game DB. Um, Xavier is running Scum, splashing some Gladi, uh, some Chimera, Golan stuff, and Jim is running Jedi Rebel Rex Cornhorn things. I wonder if uh, I wonder if John Alf, uh, if uh, Jim got Utinied here and lost his second thing. I'm getting a quick call from Josh Johnson. Let me mute myself here. Another ruling question. Josh was wondering if the Mist Hunter had to had to be focused or unfocused, if if it could if it could push itself in with its effect while unfocused. Let's uh, you know why we we got it up. We we're still waiting on Donovan to pick what he's doing. The Mist Hunter um, says during an engagement, declare this unit as a participating unit on your side. Uh, declaring requires you to be unfocused, so you can't uh, you can't just jump in with the Mist Hunter. If it's focused, that's what we thought the Imperial Raider can do, and then that we we got that cleared up. Side note: Forlom does not count towards the pilot limit, which means you can't kick Boba Fett off with him. Interesting stuff from Legends cards. What do we see some, from Donovan? Okay, so Donovan Donovan does pay his five dollars to play out a Thunder Flare, and he gets to use his uh, cost uh, his uh, fleet staging area. Um, I'm pretty happy with this, uh, given the, I want to see Donovan doing aggressive things this turn. He also just put a three bomb, uh, three gun unit on his table, which is very good. Um, he also double focuses the, uh, Chimera money that is about to die, but he's going to get two bombs from bombing unopposed with the Thunder Flare. And he's also going to get to move a third bomb over, which heals himself. It's probably not going to matter. That thing's probably going to die, but it is. It is strong. Healing things off of your objectives is directly how you don't lose the game. Like you lose the game from taking damage, so let's just remove all the damage. The question is, what does Donovan go for? Um, Gamma Run is probably the most suspect objective here. Donovan does have a pretty dominant force board right now, and Johnoff doesn't seem to be he, like he's about to put put up a fight on it. They do each have a three dot kind of committed, so I wouldn't be surprised if Donovan went for just the always strong gamma run, always being not when I run it because I'm running a Jedi deck that's not allowed to flop it. But uh, the last commander, I think, is not as strong in this deck as I've seen it. Uh, Jim's deck is trying to run a lot harder into the last commander because of the uh, of all the enhancements you get from Cornhorn and Luke. <laughs> okay, so he does go for last uh, for for Gamma Run. He does not bring the Death Trooper. He just brings the the, the Thunder Flare. He goes pop pop. Oh, he put he splashes onto pushing. So this is one of the nice things that Thunder Flare can actually do. He can kind of spread tact. He can spread damage out. Um, lets you get a little bit different parity on your stuff. And Donovan going in with uh, with Staz. Uh, probably to pushing. Yeah. So even though it has that plus one health, it, I mean, it comes with killing off the money that, that John Alp has. That's pretty cool. I hadn't considered that. You can really take out a lot of John Alp's money. He's gotten that reduction both turns going into this game. And the way that Donovan is actually splitting up this damage, one, he's getting his unop unopposed on both objectives. Oh, Okay. So he's going one from the Chimera, uh, one from the Thunder Flare, and then one, two, three, four. Oh, wait, does Staz have two bombs? Staz has two bombs, doesn't he? So let me, let me look at Staz. I didn't think I'd have to bring up Staz so many times this game. 
I forgot. Okay, so yeah, status has two bombs. Okay, so this is why Donovan took so long. Um, pushing had six health because of the defense upgrade from Zeb, which goes back to your hand. Well, what what interesting text that we never get to use. So Staz with the double tap gets to go one two three four. Unopposed, he needs one more damage. Donovan finds it from the Thunder Flare. That's huge. Donovan gets perfect parity on his bombs and things. Takes out not only John Elf's on the table enhancement money, but his pushing back the Empire discount. Big, big deal. He also takes two tactics from Staz, puts them on the Ghost. One through the shield, one into the face. Um, questionable contacts. I forget the timing on that. Um, can questionable ping itself to heal the Guardian? I think it's after you refresh, which is no? I don't remember. Okay, no, it looks like he is doing it. Hold on. This is the Josh game. Josh, is this still game one? Yeah. Cool. Noted. Okay. Josh and Mitch are just doing some monster game one. It looks like Mitch took at least an objective. I can't tell what the dial's at, but Josh has a kind of scary board. It looks like it could have been, could be scarier. Probably lost. He lost a sand crawler at some point. And Mitch, Mitch has a board that Obi Wan hasn't gone anywhere. It's got force cleansing. He's got the force. That's why this game keeps going so long. Um, checking in on Xavier. D oh, look at this. Jim is putting up a, a fight. Did he take an objective? Um, hey, has Jim taken any objectives on this game? No, he's done no damage. Noted. Thank you. All right, Jim's in a rough spot. Um, okay, let's 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 jump back to our main event here, the Donovan, uh, John Elf game. So, uh, John Elf has chosen not to do questionable damage. Let me let me let me change this. Casters, casters is. Is just Kodamarin. <laughs> Three games. It's fine. I'm, I'm loving it. Okay. Jonoff keeps his hand. He doesn't pitch anything. He actually re defense upgrades onto the damaged. Uh, the damaged objective. Jonoff is very desperate for that cash. And look at Donovan's play. I probably would not have found this line. Um, looking at the hand, but the way Donovan plays his turn, he takes out John Alf's money, and he also takes out his Force Holder, which I find very interesting. Like, that is the sign of a smart player having the foresight to say, okay, John Alf's next turn is also going to be garbage, and I'm going to get even further ahead. I'm going to get my Thunder Flare to untap again. I'm going to go for everything. I want to take John Elf and really give him no options. John Elf is going to have $4, maybe 5 if he flops something cool. And he's going to be so much on the back foot that he can't get ahead. Um, let's talk. Let's let's play this game. How how does John Elf get back into this game? All right. The one I always like to look at is Slicer. If he plays two Slicers and just starts slicing all of his money into his de in, in, onto his board, he can get the Rex money. He can get dollar, dollar, dollar. No fancy money except for the draw cards. There's no Echo Caverns. There's no um, Trust Your Feelings. So Slices are always cool, but it would take a little while for that to work. And I think John uh, Donovan has got a scary enough board that that might not help. He's got the Guardian still, which is nice. So since he has the Guardian, let's say he plays Rex right here for $4, which is all of his dollars. Best case scenario... Um, Don Donovan is tapped out here, so Jonoff does have like a window to do something. When I say something, I mean go kill that Might of the Empire to get at least some game points in here. So Jonoff goes in. Jonoff uh, plays the Rex, gets some damage, and then what? And then gets cracked back on even worse than the first time. Um, Donovan isn't going to kill his his uh his board but i think dials at five i'm not gonna i'm not gonna ask um it's just probably, it's probably five or six Don the point is donovan is certainly in striking distance to just accidentally close out the game oops i drew 
I drew some indoor ATSTs. I drew a weapons upgrade. I drew a Chimera. I drew a my. Uh, he already pitched one Might of the Empire, but I think he's got two. Yeah, uh, the Empire Strikes Back. So Donovan could very, very reasonably pop two objectives and play Empire Strikes Back for just the game. If John Elf is too aggressive, John Elf is certainly behind here. I, I like I like jumping around at these other games. Okay, this this deck this game isn't going under. This game is at a standstill. Ooh, a Falcon on the table. You can't see the rest of the objectives, but Dial is it looks like it's at eight. Yeah, Dial is at eight here. Um certainly slow. But it looks like he's taken one objective so far. Interesting game. That's Mick. That's Goldie. That's Goldie. I'm I'm jumping around between games. I'm just kind of uh yeah, there's I always action. I'm here. Hey Mick, you wanna you wanna cast with me? Oh how how's this gonna work? Call me on Facebook. For Zeb. Okay. Go to conflict. All right. So hello, uh, Mick. You there? Uh, yeah. Hold or er, hold on. Let me uh, maybe switch to my computer. This is my phone. Okay. Yeah. Call me back. Yeah, we're gonna get another caster. Why not? Okay, so John Elf, what, what, what's John Elf's game plan? Um, John Elf plays Zeb, noting that Zeb has no targeted strike, so he can't actually threaten things like Staz. But he, gets, he might get his third gun. Uh, Donovan has played two car three cards last turn. Thunder Flare, Death Trooper, Event. So yeah, so Donovan's holding three. There they are. Um, John Elf says, all right, here's my black bombs. You have an objective with three health and no shield. Um, I have three, three black. Bo I have two black bombs, uh, some guns that are coming to get you. No target strike, so just let me have it. It's fine. Uh, let's see what he says. Yeah. Let's just do Zeb and Saboteur. Uh, they're going to go against the Might of the Empire. So Jonoff really wants to kill this while it has damage on it before the Thunder Flare can abuse it any further. Okay. And this seems like a really safe attack. Um, Jonoff has probably four cards. He played Zeb plus uh, the Zeb money on the Gamma Run objective. So the four cards that Jonoff have Probably better than Don Elf's, uh, Donovan's three. Uh, so Donovan did, did, take a lo did take a long time in his turn. So maybe Donovan was looking at his hand and saying, maybe I could play Thunder Flare and do the double tap thing. How can I make sure that works? Donovan often takes a lot of time to make sure that his his bombs pair up correctly. Um, but maybe he's holding high dot cards. Maybe there's a Thrawn in there. Maybe there's another Staz in there. Another Staz. No, there's no other Staz in there. There's only one in the deck. Um, other Krennic, I guess. Um, but yeah, there's no edge tricks. There's no two cards in edge battle. There's no gladiator on Donovan's side. So I would say Jim, uh, Jonoff has a pretty good chance right here of getting this objective. What is this? Join. Allow. Join, please. Am I here? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you, yeah. Cool. And everything's good. Okay. Um, so I've been jumping between games. Right now I'm okay. watching Jan uh, John Elf and Donovan. 
uh, Donovan plays Battle of Endor and Logistics Officer for one, two Endor. Okay. Is there a way for me to like decrease the volume on the people I'm watching? Mute them. Def deafen them. Uh, or you can, there's a little down arrow next to the next to the microphone and you can go into your sound settings and just drop it down a little bit. Um, I have them deafened. But you should jump into the Camino game. Um, oh, I see. I can control the output volume. I yeah. think that seems to be it. So okay. So, John, so, so how are we doing this? Jump into Camino, and I'll and I'll catch you up. Um, okay. Everything everything's recording on my side. As long as you're talking, I got it all covered. Um, okay, so. John Alf put four damage onto Might last turn with a really weird attack and a double allies. It was nice. Donovan cracks back, takes away a Cassian money, a Cassian objective with an entrenched defense. So John Alf lost a lot of cash. John Alf comes into this turn and says, all right, I'll keep that cash because it comes back to your hand. I'll play it again. Here's Zeb Saboteur. Um, oh, I, it had the Zeb money on it. It had the Zeb money on it, right. So John Alf okay. was in a rough spot, and, and John Alf had the, a very nicely shielded ghost. Uh, Donovan had a double tap to let Staz kill an objective and overtap over -tap the ghost. Overtap something? Right. Yeah, that's the good... With the Thunder Staz flare. can take a hill. So I was like, how does John Alf come back into this game? And the answer is John Alf uses his shield. He uses his resources that he has. He plays... Um, Zeb. And this is really strong. He doesn't have targeted strike, but he has two black bombs, and Don Donovan can't really deal with that. Jonathan had more cards in hand. Uh, Donovan lost a gladiator in a defense, and he didn't have any edge tricks. I mean, Zeb's a heavy hitter, like a well, it's objective really, damage wise. But... And that's what exactly what he needed because the might had three damage on it. So he goes in with Zeb and a shield. Krennic can't handle it. So Krennic throws the tactics onto the Guardian. Uh, John Alf just needs to win an edge battle okay. with some two dot cards, and John right, so, so catch me up here. What, what's the dial at, and how many objectives has Lightside taken? Dials at six. John Alf has okay. taken one objective. He just took it, and Donovan has taken one objective as well. Um, oh, okay, it's at six, but Darkside's already taken an objective. Right. What's nice All is right. John Alf just got to take the Force back. Because Donovan had to defend with his only committed guy, and Jonath has um, Gamma Run for one, which is huge. Don a dial to six versus dial to seven is the difference between jo um, Donovan closing out the game right here. Yeah, yeah. Like right now, uh, Donovan still has to take three objectives, and that's entirely you can probably easily because of crank Gamera. it to eleven. But that's in like Jonath has. John Alf like just he's got a pretty scary that. board. Like John Alf just gambled for the last dot. Ghost and uh, Zeb, that's an objective. Uh, he's got Battlefield Engineer, probably not doing all that much, but if he gets uh, a Rex money, like that could be two more cards. Some I allies think, for him. I think Donovan's in a much better position here. I think he's yeah, about to I'm, go I'm just saying John Alf has a nice board. Like he's got some options next turn. Yeah, but what's but, going on with Brainiac? He's got Thunder. Well, no, Thunder, he's got Flare, a Thunder Flare. He doesn't have the damage move anymore because he just lost oh, his only damaged one, objective. Yeah. The issue here is that Jonoff is going to lose that Gamma Run, which means he has no more ability to take the Force. But he also has it is not going to be able to. Money. He's going to yeah. lose that money. Um, and Donovan is just going to figure out how to best do that. Because that's what Donovan's gonna do. Like the wor the the wor the least bad thing he could do is to take an objective. What what's what's the other option? Play promotion. Play Thrawn. Uh, Jonoff has been def uh, fighting through Donovan's board through shields, but I think Donovan has, I think Donovan has this game. Probably he's got gobs of money, so I expect at least two units to hit the board this turn. Donovan's turn one was. Fleet staging area, trooper ready room, Staz gladiator, with double chimera money, double focus. It was beautiful. What's he going to attack with, though? Donovan. Probably Staz. 
but so yeah here's the question does donovan attack with bombs or with tactics like what is he going for is it worth overlocking Zeb? Well, probably both well yeah of course uh, yeah i mean zeb's got a shield on him right that's the shield there zeb's got a shield and he's so also you, you got gotta the throw asteroid two tactics that you gotta throw two tactics into an attack uh i mean elf guys might just wind up chump blocking with the um Battlefield Engineer and making Donovan bid some cards, and then that really depletes Donovan's chance of winning a defensive edge battle. I want to see Donovan play. Promotion would be would be fantastic, obviously, but like promotion on stats for bombs is especially strong right now. Um, oh yeah, yeah. But I want to see Donovan. Donovan hasn't played any Endor ATSTs yet, and I those are the units I want to see right now. Those things walk in for free because you're not defending against that with a battlefield engineer. He he did just tap his indoor money, so I imagine we're not going to see indoor a- ATST with a weapons upgrade. That's just gonna, you know, solo an objective. <laughs> so here, okay, here's the a, question. that's a promotion, right? Yeah, is he going to promote Staz for the for the double bomb, or is he going to promote promote Krennic for no bombs but double tactics? Knowing Donovan, Ooh. it's always a double bomb. Yeah, I think you want to be aggressive. I think he's deciding right now. I don't think he has enough bombs on the table, even with that promotion, to just flat out win, though, right? Because he's got to do three, four to end, uh, to to Gamor, and then five to the other two. So, like promotion on staz that takes an objective but otherwise he has one two three bombs yeah it's staz yeah he, he's looking at two he, he could he could crank the dial to 11 yeah john Elf, the gamma run was big for him um donald was actually sitting on two plus gamma for the force i think i think donovan's got to take out gamma Crippling Jonoff's money for a, a second time is so powerful. And it feels free, right? Like, he only has to do four damage to it? Yeah. It's a good deal. I mean, I could see an argument for wanting to present his defense and then... You know, at worst, next turn the dial goes to seven, and he has to kill two objectives to win. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if Donovan finds some sort of nonsense double tap play with the other with the Staz event or something, hey, that could two, happen. No, no, no. Yeah. He, he did it last turn with the Throne event, but if he does that again, takes two objectives in some silly fashion. Um, the question is, what would would John not be able to close out the game? And turns out, Donovan goes for the defensive play. You don't you don't see you don't see that often, Donovan playing the defensive one. Yeah, that's that's an interesting decision because I think even if you want to play defensive this turn, having that potential to get the double bombs off Staz for the next turn when you only need two objectives to close, like he deprived himself of that option. Staz also promotes a black gun, so. Donovan, I think, is also repping a strong edge hand because it's a white gun and a white tactics that he would also be getting, right? And if he couldn't get those yeah. icons, then Staz is just objectively better. I mean, he might be going with the bury them play this turn. That's the, that's the other question. And dump like five tactics out on the board. Chimera. Okay. So here's here's the fun part. What does Donovan do? So Donovan made his board. He's floating two dollars. Um, he's floating. He could tractor beam onto the ghost. I hadn't even considered that play, but now he could do some nonsense. He might be counting to three. Obje- he, he's not counting. To, he was counting to three objectives with the Staz thing. Um, I bet you if. I bet you if Donovan had a damage on his objective for Thunder Flare, he could have gotten all three. But yeah, or I mean, that also kind of tells you that if he has tractor beam, he probably would have promoted Staz to close, right? Right. 
Um, but now who does he attack with? He has to do four damage to the Gamma Run. So that, that plus one health actually coming in pretty handy. Says the Chimera can't kill it on its own. Um, it has to be like Chimera, Death Trooper, and that just feels bad. Yeah. Does um, he have the untap uh, enhancement? No. Uh, no. What it could okay. be... Like, it could be Chimera to the middle gets three bombs. Tractor beam onto the ghost. Chimera to the side gets four bombs. That's a bunch but I don't of think he has tractor beam, right? It's like, in... if he had tractor beam, he probably would have promoted Staz. No, no, he could just bury... He's not going to win the game. He's going to bury John Elf's ghost and Zeb and put questionable to three damage and then wait a turn. All right. So, so wait. Do you think he's cranking? Going to go to to crank the dial to eleven, or just he's, he's going to crank the dial. He's going to take one. I think he's going to take one objective. It's going to be gamma. Set up the next one for the full kill, and he needs the dial tick from one more turn anyway. So he's just going to take that one next turn. But he's going to use the the tactics crank. Yeah. Hold on, let me let me listen to where he's attacking. Questionable. Yeah. Okay. See, there it is. Um. Okay. Yeah. Get that guy great. out of the way. Focus him. Yeah. This is one hundred percent. this one, right? Doesn't matter. Oh no, no blocks. Oh, maybe you block. I don't know. Jonoff is going to lose his Ghost and Zeb to Tactics. And then anything else that Donovan gets is just Gravy. But that's what that's what Donovan was taking so Ghost long Ghost is elite, though, right? Um, but he's going to get one from the Tractor Beam. I don't think he has a Tractor Beam. Then why is he attacking Questionable? I don't know. Like, he if a... he had a Tractor Beam, wouldn't the promotion just go on Staz to win the game? No, because Staz is only, uh, promotion only is one strike, not the phase. And Donovan probably did his math. He could probably take two. Yeah, so there's the ghost. I mean, he can certainly oh. take two. I was just thinking if he has a tractor beam and promotion, there's got to be a way for him to take three, right? I'm convinced he's got a tractor beam right now. If I'm wrong, I'll be shocked. I'm on, I'm on, on definitely. Because um, he has to bring four bombs or three and on a Because the crazy thing is, like, Chimera reaction, those icons persist through the phase, right? Right, that's why the tractor beam so, makes so much uh, sense. Okay. Yeah, that's why it's so good. Okay, I'm wrong. Um, he has to kill... He's decided he's killing Gamma. Um, Colby, you're unmuted. I love you guys. It's getting in there. Is this game one of their series? Game one. Game one. Here we go. Which uh, who who chose which deck? Oh, uh, Donovan Brainiac chose dark bad. first. Donovan Donovan chose dark. Let me check out these other games real quick. Oh wow, uh, Jim is hanging on. He's playing his light side deck right <laughs> now, right? Yeah, Don, uh, Jim is playing. Don, Dial's only at like six. <laughs> Jim is taking the force, I guess. I don't know. I thought he had some stuff that was captured. Jim is getting demolished, but he looks like he killed a Chimera. Yeah, he's got a Luke with a couple sabers on him. <laughs> All right. There goes the... That's yeah. how you kill a Chimera. And That's not at bad. This game. Are you kidding yeah. me? This game Luke's is... got enough guns to one-shot a Golan. This, this Letix game... Dial's been at eight for the last... I guess Dial's at nine now. But this game has been going on for a while. Yeah, and... I uh, actually caught an early part where he like played Boba Fett to capture a wolfman. 
that was probably over an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, this game is this game has been a, a marathon. Um, and Mitch just isn't giving up. All right, back here. Okay, um, Staz, Death Trooper, Shield on Staz, go to Gammer, bomb, 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 unopposed. Gets one more tactics. Doesn't have enough to overfocus Zeb. So, of the th- has he used promotion? He did use promotion. Okay, so he used it on the Chimera strike. He's he's throwing out tons of tactics. So, what did Ghost Donovan do with this turn? Donovan had one, two, three, four tactics to play this turn. Noting that he isn't using the Thunder Flare, he he's he's using the Thunder Flare and Krennic with a functional three health to defend. One on himself and two on the Death Trooper. No shields. He is floating his two dollars, and he over focused with four tactics. He'd put one on the engineer, one on the saboteur, two on the ghost. This still screams Tractorium to me. I'm sorry. I mean, it could be the super long Batum play, but I, I, I just think, I mean, maybe, maybe he worked through things and, and um, concluded that it was not enough to win the game. But I, I, I think there's there, there must be a way to just flat out win the game if he has if, if he promotion had, and tractor beam. If he had both, then he probably would have won, and, and the numbers almost certainly would have worked with all those bombs. Okay, okay. Okay, so back... Oh, he's going in with Krennic too? What a monster. He's 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 playing Barium. Okay, I like this. so I like Zeb's this getting over-focused, right? Yeah. Does Elf Guys have a Falcon in his deck? Yes, he does. He does? Okay, okay. So... Here's the question: What unit would you rather defend on 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 John Alf's, on uh, Donovan's board? Is the answer committed Thunderflare? It's not a bad choice. Three guns probably doesn't win edge, but yeah, you know. it doesn't win. It doesn't have any tactics. So like Elf guys just needs to send some tactics distraction attack, and then he can tee off on the other two objectives he he needs to win. I, w- so I want to see. It's a bit risky. I want to see John Elf use uh, questionable to move that damage from Guardian to Thunderflare. I think oh, that, absolutely! Yeah, I think that's the the. I mean, going to four damage doesn't even matter at this point. No, you got to win this turn. Next turn. He's also only got four dollars. He's holding an allies of uh, yeah. necessity. Yeah. Of he's the got money. a yeah. He, he's got a bloody that Thunderflare. Thunderflare's got four health. He's doing it. Good play. Good play. He's only on four money. Ugh, this is a rough. He the first two turns he used the Cassian discount to great effect, and I was like, "Yeah, go John Elf." And then he just lost all of his cash and didn't draw like he didn't draw Gamma mm. money. He didn't draw any Rex money. And now he's sitting on no, no face-up bombs. I do like Donovan defending on a spaceship. It means he can't get uh, bamboozled. True, yep. I mean, he can. Like, Zeb would come back, but... So I think the best thing John Alf can do right now is play a CCO. A white tactics would go a long way here. I guess the C- CCO would have to put the the tactics like on the guardian or something. That feels bad. Yeah, he would because nothing on uh, John Elf's board or Donovan's board can be hit with it. But it would free up Zeb. So okay, I'm... I don't know. We 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 might be witnessing John Elf just trying to decide how to take one more objective for game points at this point. The question is, what does he do Depends with, what with four dollars? Like CCO bamboozle is probably the best thing he could do. Like, yeah, like, that's not enough for game, but it, it's Zeb takes yeah. another objective, is what that is. Oh, he doesn't even have an enhancement. Okay, 
Is there a last commander play he can make? Four for Rex? Four for Rex. Okay. So that takes the Rex. Doesn't have enough guns on Rex to get through Thunderflare. Does take Rex an take an objective? Unopposed, he does. Oh, no. No, no. no. He doesn't. I mean, does, he might have some allies of necessity, of course. So, Does he dare defend? <sighs> there was some bow rifle lost commander play. Last commander play. Yeah, I was thinking bow rifle could be cool, but I don't have the money for that right now. Okay. Is he going for Rex game points? and guardians? Do, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Question, question: Do you Different ever go for? Do you ever go for game points? Uh, for for defending here. I think. No, what do you, I, I'm sorry. What do you ever play for game points here? I'm I'm sorry. Do you ever play to um, to win the game? And it's not for game points. Like defend on Rex Guardian. I think no. No way in in the world that Rex Guardian actually defends a board. Uh, yeah, pro probably not. Yeah, bring well, on I don't know. No, nope. you're defending. He could go in with Staz. Uh, no chance. He's got no. Nah, it's, it's too wide. Promotions out there. Yeah. Okay. So Johnoff is going for the objective. We expect him to have the allies. I expect him to have a twist too. I bet. I bet he's got twist. Twist allies. Yeah. If he's got. And allies. Josh game's He's good. still running. Right? Bolt game's still running. Ooh, Xavier just stole a trust your feelings. That's rough. Stole it? Yeah. I think, right, he or something? I think tag crash. Oh, okay. I'm just doing the thing, like, you know, picture in picture. You're at the, at, at like, the, the, the sports bar, like, flipping through all the football games. I'm just I got I got two screens yeah, on the yeah. recording and and they flip through all the different games. I think John Off got a twist. I, I think he's got a twist. How many cards did John have? Brain, Brainiac play? doesn't have twist. He he's got late development, right? <laughs> he's got late development. The late development's not going to prevent allies from resolving. Big deal. Like I like that. I think that's a cool card design. I think it's cool to have both of them. I think I think what I decided from this tournament is, <laughs> like, when I read the card, I say, twist shouldn't exist. That should exist. After this tournament, I say, you know what? Both of them should exist. I'm okay with that. Okay. Yeah, our, our general feeling playtesting was that late development was the poor man's twist. Yep, there's an allies, definitely. But John Off, does, John uh, but off doesn't like, twist. There's a couple times where you can use it to your advantage. Putting in fate cards with your late development to bait them deeper. Mm -hmm. But I actually like that they both exist. I think it's really cool to have that option. To like, I have this stronger pod with a weaker effect that still gets me this thing I need. And the my fate cards are still in danger. Especially yeah, the ability after... to reset at battles is super important. And that's the other thing that we learned in the summer tournament when I only gave the one twist in the neutral pod to each faction. Is that turns out twist is still an important card in the game. Yeah. A number like a bunch of enough dark side decks actually ran reconnaissance Guardian. mission. Cool. That I'll deflect out that out it, but I don't think any light side decks touched the uh, okay. uh hit and run. Um... Yeah, they did. Yeah. Okay, so John Alf puts a bunch of damage. Uh, I'll use it doesn't matter. I'll use Endor Entrapment to protect too. John, okay. uh, uh, John Alf puts gun on the guardian. Oh, he's discarding a cool. a navy card to prevent it. Um, he may not get the unopposed he needs. No. So what happened here was John Alf put gun on guardian. Puts two guns into the thunder flare. Thunder flare shoots back, and gets. Uh, deflected. So Donovan prevents the deflection damage. Um, 
Which it would have been fine because Jonoff does have three instances of one more gun. Oh, I see. He was able to then get it with uh, Rex. Okay. Uh, he actually got it with the engineer, but yeah, he would have gotten it with Rex. But Jonathan, uh, Jonoff having the deflections, kind of nice. Oh, the engineer was in there too? Yeah, John, Jonoff is oh, going for oh, one more. Okay. So I think this is bomb, bomb, bomb from allies, bomb from face, unopposed. One, two, three, four, unopposed. Okay. Tactics on the Death Trooper, because he's not elite or shielded. Not on Krennic, because doesn't... Oh, yeah. Death Trooper is a bomb. Eight game points is respectable. It's good. Let's listen in. On an edge battle, I should have drawn a card. Um, yeah. It would not... Yeah, I mean... Oh, look, there's a card. <laughs> um... Would not have mattered. Uh, I think then, yeah, that's the end of all that. Uh, nothing else I can do. I don't have enhancements to unfocus something. Um, yeah, so that's the end of all that. And then the dial will go to 10, and then you'll blow something up, and you'll win. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. I'm, I'm okay just moving on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. yeah, you got good game. Yeah, I had the bomb. Yeah. So, yeah, good game, it. friends. Um, so that's eight, eight points. Eight points eight for points. me. Yeah. Very good. Cool. Yeah. And it's best. I can't of five, believe this right? Josh Mitch game yeah. is yeah. still going on. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Mitch is playing full Highlander here. It's just threats every single turn. <laughs> this game is still going on. What happened to Mitch's board? I don't know. He's got like Falcon, Obi Wan, Dodonna. Out that Obi Wan has been on the table since turn two. I guess he keeps picking things up. Josh's board looks kind of whittled at this point. Yeah, Josh had stuff. Josh had a golem? Two golems? What is Mitch? Yeah, he had a couple of golems out there. When this game ends, we gotta we gotta snag them and just get them to give us a recap because my god, this is a ridiculous looking game. Dial seems to be at nine is still. Nine, eight, nine. So it's it's not ten. Is is Zuckus elite? Yeah, Zuckus is, is oh, a champ. He's pretty good. Yeah. Look at that mist hunter with two yeah. pilots. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> And and the gym game is still happening too. Dial's at nine over here. We 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 have some tenacious players out Guys, there. Guys, what's the dial here? Dial's at nine. Lovely. I have one objective. Oh, Josh has no cards. Does um does Jim? Jim no. has four damage on one objective. Thank you. Okay, yeah, this game looks a little bit more dire for for Jim. <laughs> Xavier's got all of his toys, but he lost his chimera to this big Luke. Um. Jim clearly got a strike in. Oh, what, what's the dial at in this game? No, dial's at nine. nine. Xavier has one objective. Okay, there's a couple couple of dick ships out there. Dingar, Gol. Yeah, that, that's some stuff. But like, We got a Super Luke and the Rex. Mm. But let's look at, like, even though Xavier has this monster advantage, one, he can't push the, de the dial too hard um, because he's got a goal and he paid five on a unit that he can't attack. Um... Dengar needs to hold the force, I guess. And two, there's no targeted strike, so Don, uh, Xavier can't actually attack for any value. Um, uh, Jim has both C-3PO and a ghost out there, and he's got nine on the force. What's Xavier's plan? Like, Xavier, I don't even think he's running... A, is he running a Zuckus for the uncanny one? Yeah, Maybe. I guess I'm curious, like, how many objectives has Jim taken at this point? None. He has four damage. None. He has two uh, game points. He's, he, he's sort of, yeah, it's it's running short, but he, he might just, you know, you know, do some objective balance damage a couple more turns and then make one monster attack. Like this Luke Rex? What if this Luke Rex just goes and blows up Tat Crash? It's got seven health because it's got the, the holding cells. It's got eight health because there's two DB20s and it's going to have a shield. Luke Rex can handle that. They just pop it. Luke, Luke Rex Ghost. It's probably a bad play. Don't listen to me. Guardian. Oh, 
What's what you gonna do to Luke now? Yeah, okay. Luke's Luke's gonna strike for four guns and murder something. And then, but like Rex is committed, so he doesn't have the big trust your feelings monster Rex plays. We 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 flashed over to this game for like a hot second, and Xavier had tat crashed. Uh, one of the trust your feelings off of the top of Jim's deck. If he goes and blows up tad mm. crash, then Jim's back in this game. Something, something dial still at nine. Um, so, okay. Jim is actually on a knife's edge here because end of Jim's turn, dial the 10, Dengar, and then two DP 20s and the IG 88 can go blow up the second objective, which is either yeah, that middle Jim one. Yeah, Jim also has to play defense. Yeah. This is a hard game. <laughs> Jim's attacking. Oh, I'm going to turn the audio on. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you got Rex Loop Guardian. I mean, that's what you do with this board, right? Uh, Tap Crash is sitting with how many? Tap Crash has seven health yep, and like six capture forward. cards. I can seven. tell by Xavier's oh. voice that he's actually... Seven health, six capture cards. That he's thinking pretty hard. It, it looks like he's oh. also taking notes on what he's taking from Jim. Where, where, where's Jim going? Is he going Tat Crash? He hasn't decided. No, he's going Might, right? I would go Tat Crash here. Oh, that's hard. Can you get eight Is bombs? it enough to take Tat Crash? Luke has One, two, four three. bombs. No, it's not. Allies. No, Luke, Luke. Those aren't both lightsabers, are they? I thought one was like a Corrin lightsaber or something. Oh, maybe. Oh, the second one's a Corrin lightsaber. That's actually a big deal. Okay. Yeah, it's a Corrin lightsaber. I can see. I think. Uh, I don't know. Maybe with like allies or something. Lucas three. Rex could potentially have three, but he's getting probably some tactics. What's the dial at? The dial's at. Dial's at nine. Dial's at nine. Uh, so, nothing. It was going to be. He's only was, threatening like, six bombs. Like that's not enough for tech crash. I think he's going might. He hasn't decided. <laughs> he's just like, I want to make an attack with these guys. Because it'll hurt. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> Jim's also showing two dollars. What's he gonna do with two dollars? Um, he's got an influence money up. Maybe he's gonna strike with Luke immediately. That would be cool. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that could happen. He he doesn't have bamboozle on the deck. Uh, he could potentially have. Friend, uh, not friendship is magic. The uh, teamwork, right? No, Teamwork's always not, fun. He's the one guy not running. Uh, oh, he's not running any Cassian. That's right. Alrighty. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> no, no teamwork. Ah, you're dead to me. <laughs> There's no bamboozle. No teamwork. He's running Jedi cards, yo. I think it's just uh, allies of necessity for days. Maximum pain train. Who do you target to strike off the board? I think it's got to be Dingar, right? Oh, Probably why are you making this hard, Xavier? I didn't want to lose. I'm sorry? <laughs> I didn't want to lose. I was worried. <laughs> we'll get back to our regularly scheduled uh, John Alf Brainiac game in a moment. Oh, this is great having yeah, no, three. This is just too good. Having three games to cast at once <laughs> means that there's no downtime. It's fantastic. All of my data on the screen shows the the Donovan John Elf stuff, but whatever. I can't believe this Josh game is still going on. This Josh game is legitimately an hour and a half long. <laughs> uh, they're gonna go to a fifth One. game too. I'm sure of it. <laughs> What's it gonna be like? Five dark side game, five light side games, or something? <laughs> they're, they're, Josh has a big play here. Oh, it's hey, a Dengar. Dengar. Dengar is all over the place tonight. <laughs> all right, I'm going back to the John Elf game. All right, John Elf flops um, be better than Donovan did. Um, ooh, he's got protect the generator. That's yeah, solid. Might might protect. But he doesn't. He doesn't flop the the absolute monster start with like double money. Like, well, whatever. Status I'm checking gladiator. out this gym game. 
<laughs> okay, we'll, we'll we'll come back to this one later. This is the most fun watching games ever. I I feel like I'm at Worlds. I feel like I can go <laughs> yeah, around and I like I finished my game and I can like peek over on this table and be like, oh, what's happening over here? Um, but I don't have to feel. I, bad I feel like I'm also at Worlds, but I've been eliminated. That's part of being at Worlds. <laughs> I have a picture on my wall. Um, All right, he's shielding Rex. That's solid. Hold on. Uh, in the Facebook, I'm going to turn on my video for a second. Do you see this picture right here on my wall? Oh, hold on. Uh, this one right here on my wall. Oh, okay. What 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 is that? I it see a bunch of people. Um, I'll I'll send you what that is. That is me, Donovan, and James excitedly pointing at Javi as he's sitting at the finals table at Worlds. That is like that fish. I'll I'll, yeah. I'll, show, I'll show that to you. Where's the fight here? I think the whole crew wrong. is defending. Yeah, where's he going? Whoa. Um, where is this? I don't know if Xavier has declared defenders Golan, yet. Dengar, yeah, okay. Here, here come shields. Okay, um, it looks like everybody's blocking. And... I assume this is an everybody block. Okay, it's it's an attack crash, right? Oh no! Where is this fight? Oh no! I, I um, think this he's fight going is at my crash, but then he's at Mike? shielding. Yeah, I'm trying think. to figure out where my force shield is going. Fight at Mike. At um, Mike. Mike be pursuing the bounty. I actually think and he's thinking of throwing a shield to prevent unopposed the big play for the force shield in the middle. Yeah, that is what yeah. I believe. Yeah, that makes pursuing sense. The but the fight <clears throat> is at Might. So Jim is gonna smack uh, Might, and Don and, and Xavier doesn't want to lose my uh, pursuing the bounty to C three PO. Wait, how does he have that many shields, though? It's got to be both of the DP20s, but one of them's focused? Is your DP20 focused? Uh, no, it is not. Thank you. No, thank you. No, okay. <laughs> yep, I got a second card in. Not focused. Cool. Yeah, Xavier has had messy boards historically. All right, jumping in the, on the Donovan game, what do we got? Okay. Um, John Elf opens a little bit weak. Um, it's fine. It's still three cards. It's 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 dire protector. Um, logistics officer. That's like a fine open. It's not a great open. Logistics officer is not an officer. Correct. Um, he is sad. Isn't duty officer an officer? <laughs> duty. <laughs> <laughs> duty. Duty. I, I, duty officer, I believe, is an officer. <laughs> okay, so Donovan flops. Um, I think I think this is just a, a hard. Uh, here's a slicer. Here's a Rex money. Starting Rex money is great, but um, I bet I bet you he didn't mulligan this. I bet you he like said this is fine. Oh, and... I see. He focused that for for more cards, but he has uh, no more money. So what are those cards doing? Uh, probably just resetting the top deck for slicer. Worth it. Oh yeah yeah okay. He does flop a Jedi objective, which means he does have all three colors out. Which, looking at his list, is not always guaranteed. Like, John... Oh, that's actually right. a very interesting difference in their list. Donovan is a smuggler deck um, with only two Jedi objectives out, with a lot of Jedi cards in them. But John is actually a Jedi deck with only Secret of Yavin 4. All right, I'm going back to yeah. I'm I'm, I'm right, going I'm, back I'm, here too. I'm like whatever. I want to see Luke. Oh, it's stuff. Jedi. It's Jedi reflexes. <laughs> oh, it is Jedi reflexes. Okay, Luke's going. Who, who, who do you think won this edge battle? <laughs> We're gonna find out. I guess so, we'll know on the next. Strike. So Rex got the shield because okay. Luke technically doesn't need it here. Rex got the shield, which is like, right, right. It's it's. Uh, you gotta shoot well, Dengar. I mean, I, 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 I think, I think he still wants to win because otherwise, Golan like shoots Rex. Oh no, he's got the. It looks like Luke. Uh, 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 Jim won. It okay. looks like Jim won the edge. Um, first of all, he's got plus two cards, plus three cards with. Okay, Bird. Dengar's out of here. Dengar's gone. Yeah. Um, Jim, uh, Jim won the edge because he has. Uh, he has. World. He had more edge. He had plus three cards with the Donna objective and Rex enhancement. Um. Oh, that thing isn't damaged. Ooh, okay. And 
I, I bet you it just flopped out. I bet you it just flopped out. Um, and then Mike. Oh, he, yeah, he, he did. He did three bombs to the objective. He won edge. Cool. Okay, so here comes Rex. I think Rex has to gain at least a bomb, right? Yeah, he needs to gain bomb tactic tactics. That's just what it is. Unless he's trying to kill the DP twenty, and I don't think he needs to do that. Um, yeah. I don't know. Is there an argument here where Guardian strikes first? No. Oh. Why not? Ew. I think Guardian should take out the DP twenty. Ew. And then you gotta like, take get the... aced by the Golan, you gotta right? Gotta take the the shot while you can. There's so many ways this could go wrong. No, no, Rex has to strike first because he's got to get tactics, tactics. You got to take the black tactics away from the IG-88 ship. Oh, I see. Well, do you though? Yeah, otherwise you'll lose your ghost or your C-3PO. Like, can Jim win? So? Yeah, look, there it is. Double tactics for... for, for so so uh, Jim doesn't okay, have any tactics okay. now. He's just going to get shot in the face. Now... Jim can, uh, he has to take the, the ship with the bomb to the middle. But other than that. Oh, yeah, that, that does open up the And Rex has a middle. gun. Rex has a gun naturally. So we got gun, gun tactics, tactics. I was just thinking of, of being able to threaten more guns, of getting that Guardian strike in. It would go on just one of the, and also Xavier's board is now set. Oh, look at the DP twenty. The DP twenty. Yeah, ran that's, away. I mean, that's what Luke does. Luke's dual wielding lightsabers and just killing everything. No, but the DP twenty <laughs> had inertial dampeners on it. Do you see it back there? Oh, oh, it that's ran an inertially back. dampened. He lost it can an edge go battle again. Yeah, strike for Bop the Luke Guardian takes the hit instead. So he's got to push forward enough to kill that thing, right? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to jump over. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not going to be enough with it, just that uh, X-Wing okay. alone. Donovan slices in a dig of a training grounds. And Jim, and, and John Elf, I'm sorry. Donovan slices in a dig of a training grounds, which is, which is super relevant. Um. Jonoff is going for a Jawa attack, and then he's going to get a little bit more with some bombs. Um, there's a Nogri, there's a Dyer, and then there's a... Yeah, so, so Jonoff is doing a very standard, like, here's here's my Jawa, I don't care if I win or lose. Okay, oh, okay. J Jim changed his attack. He's not going with the X-Wing, he's going with Ghost, because it has two bombs. I agree with that decision. And this, uh, this other game, Dials at 10... Dials a 10 for Josh. It, and it looks like... Uh, you, <laughs> this you, is still game one. It's been going on for two hours now. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't see the objectives on this, but but uh, Secret of Yavin 4 has, has five damage. Uh, it's, curr it's currently, it's currently cut off a little bit. and planning the attack got two. Yeah, there's a Luke objective yeah, with a bunch of damage two damage. The there's a whole bunch of damage on Mitch's board on the on the bottom right here. It's kind of cropped right yeah. now. I have, I have no idea how much uh, how many objectives Mitch has taken, but there's only two damage on one dark side objective. Okay, it looks I assume like that's probably the third though. It looks like Ghost went unopposed. Ghost goes unopposed and takes the second objective. Oh, we're back to uh. To, I'm all over the place. I'm. This is here. so exciting. There's so much exciting yeah. shit going on, and they're all in game one. Okay. And Luke just refreshed himself. He's ready to rumble a second time. Oh. The Guardian's gone, though. One health. Uh, I mean, this is on defense now. Xavier's okay. refreshing. So. He's going to capture another card with Tat Crash. What's he going to get? Oh, he just flopped double heartless tactics. I'm going to send Nav these two in against uh, okay. bottom objective. Yep, unopposed. Unopposed. I will 
Uh, yeah, that's rough though. He's only got bomb. like inertial dampener, DP yep. twenty. Uh, uh, what is that? Strike IG two thousand and Golem. I will indoor command post. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's shields and tactics and strike. It's pretty good, but third you know, the the Rex uh, loot check for is coming. Get four. Get objective. Oh, but Rex is double focused. Mm. So over here in uh, in John Elf land, um, John Elf says, "Here's my Jawa." I'm getting, I'm getting the tactics, and then he goes in with a very aggressive, um, dire, uh, using dire as a money to get the indoor command post back to get one two, uh, double strike with the ATST for three. Unopposed is four kills a Luke objective. Turn two, Jonathan takes an objective, has to defend against a slicer. Oof, oof. He has to defend against a slicer. Yeah. With uh, just the the nogary slicer is not super spicy. Well, this is turn two. Like, yes, Donovan has two limited dollars out, but that's because he sliced one of them. And um, Donovan's about to punish John Alf. Now, hard. Dark, Dark Sides built a bunch of stuff, though. No, Don John Alf's going to get punished. Pretty, pretty wide board. Donovan is going to play Luke or. Um, or Cassie. Like if 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 Donovan has a main, he's back in it. If he doesn't have a main, he pitched a Cassian at some point. It's tough, tough times. It looks like he edged the Cassian. Can Xavier Rough. win this game? Xavier has no bombs. Xavier lost all of his bombs. He lost. He lost his DP twenty. He lost his Dengar. East. What are we looking at? Dial's at 10 and he's taken. He's taken one. Has he's he taken kill. any object? He's taken one. Okay, so he does need to. He needs to take a second. And to. I mean, yeah. with unopposed, he's got it. Yeah, but he's got to fight through a Luke. Uh... Um. Yeah, and... Luke, uh, a three health X Wing, and. I don't want to ask, yeah. but. I'm sure Jim has some cards in hand. You know, I don't want to, like, bug him. Influence their plays. I think those are... Th I think those three cards on the side there is his hand. Okay. Josh took an objective. Josh, okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try Josh to... took an objective. I'm gonna... Okay, get those game it. points, Josh. Who uh Crank that dial. Yeah, Josh has uh, Slave 1 and Dingar and uh, what is that, that Holding Cell guy all tapped? Yeah. Zuckus is tapped? Why is Zuckus tapped? Probably had to fight. I guess, and I guess so, but now he's like, the Mist Hunter's unfocused. Hold on, I'm, I'm playing with my settings so I can actually get this full board. Obi-Wan's got a couple enhancements on him. I was at 11. Huh. And, and it looks like Mitch is getting to see another turn. He plays a Falcon! Oh! And... and, and, and yeah, uh, I, I think I think we've seen that Falcon before, so he must have, like, bounced it last turn for something. I feel like it's been bouncing in and out this whole game. I mean, we gotta be near the end of this game, right? <laughs> something like that. Like, if Josh gets another turn, what, the dial's at 11, and he only has to do one damage to Secret of Yavin 4? Josh has three, four cards. Josh has four cards. Jim... Mm. Uh, thinks he's going to lose this game. Oh, we're back to Jim. I'm all over the place. It's wonderful. Jim's looking at his... Jim's card. looking through the full discard. Looking at the dots. Okay, happy alligators in discard. Is it Jim's turn? It's not Jim's turn yet, is it? Xavier hasn't done anything. 
Maybe Xavier is just sitting on six cards for defense. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. For Falcon. All right, Donovan sure. finally makes a play. He focuses all of his money leaving up the wrong thing. Instead of the draw two cards, he leaves up his neutral dollar. Um, oh, oh, he's got a falcon. Played a falcon. And this is yeah. why John, I told you John was going to be a punished. I feel he should be drawing two cards. No, he's going to play a hired hands. Right, whatever, I'm, I'm watching the other falcon game. <laughs> this, is, this is the best thing ever. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Mitch and Mitch is attacking with Falcon and Battlefield Engineer, and I, I imagine that the Battlefield Engineer refreshed the uh, cash, rebel supply cash. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Maybe. So Josh has Zed and Mist Hunter. Double damage, Mist Hunter. Oh, you know how Zuck has got focused, right? He That's his words. He has to focus himself to steal an icon. But doesn't he have to, like, he steals it onto his ship? Does does it have to be an engagement? Yeah. Um, it might have happened last Can, year or something. Oh, okay. Who knows? But wouldn't he have refreshed? Or may, maybe when Josh attacked, Zuckus wasn't participating but stole an icon? Can Zuckus do I that? I bet you. I bet you we attacked with it, stole an icon, and then oh, boy. got the All ship right. back. Um, from, how many cards do you have? Like ten. Got the ship back from uh, early warning system. Oh, that that makes sense. So I think I, I I just realized this. I think every time we flip over, it bleeps to all of them. It goes blink, oh someone's here. So you and I are jumping around at all these games, <laughs> ding, and you go blink, ding, ding, ding. ding, ding. I think I'm going to ask Jim and Xavier after their game. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's fine. <laughs> I don't care. This is what they get. No, this is, this is, uh, I'm a little upset about it, but what are you going to do? This is what, this is what we have to do to watch three games. Yeah, Josh simulcast. is deliberating. How is this defense going to work? There's Falcon and a battlefield engineer. Okay. It, and is this my doing? He knows he's going to lose edge. Oof. Okay. John Elf is getting okay. smacked. Falcon pops three damage on a thing, eats the focus from Protect the Generator. Here comes Rex Slicer. Oh, Donovan's ooh, one dollar went to see three PO. That's a thing to do with one neutral dollar. Oh, definitely. That's yeah, gonna that's take solid. the force. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Allies, oh, give it to him. Okay, Josh is just letting it go through. It looks like. Hold on, hold on. I had so a list Falcon of struck for two. two slicer. Yep. And is unopposed going to be awarded? Rex will focus to strike and gain a bomb, a black bomb, and black and white tactics. Josh is thinking okay. long hold and on, hard. Hold on, hold on, Donovan. You don't have a Jedi card. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Only get yeah. two icons. I'm That's used right. to it. Uh, thank you, Colby. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, bomb and yeah. a black tie. Cool, thanks. Um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, somebody got rid of your Jedi card. This is uh, the benefit of having two judges watching three games. Um, Donovan almost actually accidentally got a third tactics, a third icon. Um, but Donovan doesn't have any Jedi, car Jedi cards mm -hmm. out. He has the Jedi influence with double Rex, but he doesn't have any Jedi cards out. So Rex does not really. Get the oh, oh! Did an objective get blown up? The hero's journey got popped, and I and I just popped in uh, to okay, listen for okay, one second. Gotcha. He goes, "Oh, I'm gonna get three icons." I go, "No, no, no, two icons." No, no, Mister. It's just influence does not count. So he gets two on, from the slicer, two from Rex, and it's gonna be unopposed. Is gonna pop that. See, this is not worth. Oh, okay. So here's a question. So this is just gonna be a, a slugfest. Who is going to come out on top of this? Because John Elf can take another objective on board um, between Dyer and the, and the ATST and the other guy. Um, does I think Don? I mean, Donovan's going to win in a, in the in a race of who can blow up three objectives first, or who can get their win condition first. Oh, I see. Josh is like contemplating bringing Mist Hunter in after strikes have happened. 
yeah, that's what's happening. Prevent the unopposed. Yep. I don't know. Is my Discord upset? Or my Discord might be upset at me. Or maybe not. Miss Hunter isn't focused yet. I think Josh, Josh was thinking about it. What's happening? Has Mitch played a lightsaber deflection in the game? I have no idea. This game has been going on forever. I'm uh, waiting for Mist Hunter to show up. Oh, there was a bailout. There was a bailout. Wait, how did Mist Hunter die? Oh, Han showed up. Ha ha. Han popped out of that falcon. Okay. Man, all of my video Han feeds just kind of falcon. died. Ace the Mist Hunter. Zuckus. Ba no, Forlom bailed out. Technical difficulties, which is not Four good. Um, looks like it's blocking Han. Very good. Oh, right, Forlom's getting swindled. <laughs> Mitch just waiting, waiting for Josh to do that Zuckus or Forlom bailout, surprise blocker, and swindle that sucker. <laughs> All right, we're back. Hold on. Properties. I don't think. Is that game? That's jo Josh is getting another turn. God. Okay, yeah. C three PO takes the force. Jonoff pops out hostile planet, which might be actually relevant for once because he's got the Jawa. What's happening here? Jim's got another that, turn. Uh, the secret he happened. I discovered that, like, one thing I've discovered is that. Jim's got if I turn. flop two secret of the fours, I really don't need the second one to protect. What? Uh, okay, so Luke's this, gone. The, in this is game. this game over, or is this game still happening? It is still happening. This is the basically the last turn. Can you um, recap what just happened? Um, I went in. I went in for the win, and we tied the edge battle seven to seven. Uh, with Boba and the in the Iggy ship. Yeah, I went Boba Iggy ship and gunship. Um, shields for my guys, tied at 77, inertial dampeners to pull my guy out. I don't know if you have to focus dampeners, but yeah, wow. Yeah. Oh, you're right. All right. Oh, and you can do as much as I want. Okay, lovely. And then Luke yeah. got shot or something? Luke took a gun. <laughs> Luke, had been accru Luke had been slowly accruing guns. Oh, we've been watching. We've. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys hear a beep every time I jump into the chat? Yeah. Okay, you just have to uh, deal with I, that. Wanted to, I, I wanted to make the comment that the way that uh, the way Xavier is playing the DP twenty with the internal tamponers was exactly the way Donovan played Delta One with the pilot that lets you withdraw from an oh, engagement. Cool. Mm -hmm. So basically, Xavier was creating four shields out of one DP twenty. So, sorry about the beeping, guys, but no, the still. the the Josh Mitch game. Is still on game one for the past two hours. Oh yuck! Wait, are you serious? Yeah, they're oh, they haven't finished. Amazing. I could have won end that turn. I just, oh, that was a clutch play on your oh, part. Oh, how how did this end, guys? This that was nuts. Uh, it it ended with him getting eleven points, and, and me almost punching two dice event. Wow! Holy, we we just like. We, it's like we were trying to let the other person win the whole game. We, yeah, we, we both tried to snatch defeat out of the jaws of victory. Guys, that game was legitimately two hours. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It was insane to watch. Um, all sorts of shit has been happening. Um, but I've got three games simulcast right now, and me and Mick are commentating, and it's a blast. I'm sorry about the beeps every time we jump in, but... That's the way it goes. Uh, that Miss Hunter Colby gave me so many problems. Wow. Was there a was there a did you bring guys onto the ships with the objective and off of the ship with the bailout in that same game? Yeah. Well, I mean that I, I did a bailout on the last turn, but it wasn't relevant really. That looked wild. Alright, I have all I of these have games are crazy. 
<laughs> oh, there was a time. So both Jonathan and I made crucial mistakes. There was one time where I actually I made like two or three mistakes, but um, I would have won the game. But I I for, I did not focus down the mist hunter. So he brought in the mist hunter, killed Donna, and then and the next mistake I made was I um, I was going with Rex. No, what was the other one? I just remember two hours ago, uh, you lost the, your units on turn one and turn two, and I felt so bad. And then you just didn't uh, lose. Uh, the, yeah, the, the big one was, uh, the, the next big one was uh, Rex to Donna and like a Guardian attack. Uh, and I blocked with something, and then I, uh, he's oh. up on edge by one, and then the stay on target. <laughs> Uh, rips Rex out before like the before the total, so then I end up actually winning edge. Wow! All right, I gotta find other games. <laughs> I I All caught right, uh... the first or maybe third turn of that game two hours ago. I was picking up dinner. Trust your feelings, Emra. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm back uh, in the. Epic. I'm back in the Xavier game. Um, Mick, meet yourself and get back over here. Trust your feelings on Rex. Guardian. Yep. He finds Rex Guardian, and probably and also drew two cards already. Oh, okay. So Xavier had his turn last turn for Jim. Yeah. So what's what, happening? What he happened was uh, Boba oh, Fett. Oh, trust your feelings on Rex. It was Boba Ooh. Fett. Iggy ship comes in. Um, Xavier loses the edge battle seven to seven. DP twenty bails out with the inertial dampeners, okay. and then Luke takes I'm a gun, to... but. Uh, gets Pitch shot. That. Yep. Uh, uh, Luke, Luke to pre. Deletes the. Yep. The three icon ship, and Jim doesn't lose. He dials at eleven. Battlefield engineer. Yep. And he's got lightsaber no on objective guardian on the board. Lightsaber on the guardian. And the uh, refresh Rex. Yep. The whole team. Yeah, that's that's enough. Let's push all it's those things go forward. In against shield on uh, I mean, the that's right. <laughs> money open Dengar. Yep, money open heartless tactics. Um, squads in the way. Uh, I do get to refresh uh, yeah. the Republic yeah. supply. So if you win the edge, he bombs. And I'll he draw two. He just One, drew four here. cards. <laughs> Four He's cards? Got... Oh, 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 because of uh, draw yeah. two and then refresh he, like, it, draw two. He played more. the engineer in the deck of a training ground. Oh, sorry, yeah. shield. Yeah. Shield's going to go on. Shield Captain and Rex, Rex with trust. Okay. That's how yep. Jim's deck works. Rex. Guardian's got a sword. What's he going to do? <laughs> I mean, it, it shielded Rex with trust and also, like, and, you know, six well, to the, eight cards. The trust, <laughs> the trust was a bamboozle there. Necessity. The trust was the thing to. Get him ready. Right, right. It, it got it got Rex ready again. Yeah, uh, that was big. That's what trust does. Let's let's Rex double strike. Also, there was no Utini play from Xavier possible because C three PO has been hanging out. <laughs> like responding to <laughs> trust. Yeah. Um, shield on on the gunship. He does have to push six damage through. I don't know if Xavier can get a capture off because Boba's on the table. Um, True. Looks like you get it with Edge One. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is. Yes. Uh, can I get a card Let's count? Card and hand count. I've got none. Okay. Five. All right. Jim's got, got five. Xavier's got none. So Edge One just takes it. Whoa, Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, Xavier. Like, Xavier went hard. Have... And had a seven to seven edge battle. And asteroid. Mm -hmm. Jim's got all the allies cool. and necessity. I'm wondering, does Jim just have it on the board? Then? I think so. I don't. Mm, let's see here. One, two. He can get five. Oh yeah, no, he, he he's got it on the board because he can strike first with the guardian. There's a bit of sequencing so to there. worry about. He does have to worry about sequencing. He has to strike first with the. 
guardian. Otherwise, it I'm just wondering dies. if there's any tricks Xavier could have. Ah, uh, oh, go Jim. I thought I thought Xavier has zero cards in hand, right? Oh, but he has zero cards the in hand. Guardian. Mm hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's gonna get. Yep, Guardian striking first. Two guns. In Guardian's two... got two guns. Wow. The... All right, I'm going to the Camino yeah. game. I'm going to the. Yeah, yeah. Jim's got it. With the dial at 11, holy cow. I think the dial's at, uh, <laughs> dial's at 10, but yeah. Um, oh, dial's at 10. All right, yeah. so in this Donovan game, Donovan uh, John Off game, um, I know we just missed the whole turn, but Donovan, Donovan went in. Whacked John Elf. Um, took an objective and a half. John Elf came in oh, and said... With the, uh... Wait, what, what came out of the Falcon in this game? The Rex. Oh, that's Rex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So... And 3PO took the Force. Yeah, right. which is fantastic. Um, so John Elf says, Oh, oh yeah? I'm going to pr play Staz, promote him, and take two objectives. Dial's at 11! Look at this! Dial went to 11! Staz promotion. Hmm. Um, all yeah, Donolf has is is C three PO. Donolf takes all of his toys away. Um, apparently Donovan has uh hasn't been slicing after uh, slicing successfully in t uh, since that first day of training grounds. Has Donovan taken an objective? Or he not? took an objective and a half. He has taken one projector oh, okay, generator. Okay. Um, okay, so like we, we got we get we got a game here. John uh, pops I mean, back Falcon's two gonna, more. Falcon's gonna come back up. Rex is gonna be ready. Oh, but Rex only gets two icons. Uh, how does Rex come back? No, Rex. Rex got over focus. Oh, Rex is over tapped. Yeah, so is the slicer. Ooh. And the slicer misses, which is actually kind of huge. Like if that slicer hits Cloud City guest quarters, that's a whole different turn for Donovan. So I think, I mean, I think he's got to like draw cards and win Ed he battles has to, to play draw cards CCO. and get that CCO. Or Falcon. Falcon's fine. But what does Falcon attack? The middle. The all Donovan, all Johnoff has is the. I mean, no Falcon, I, I feel like attacking the middle is... So, if Donovan got all of his toys this turn, it would be Falcon and Rex uh, at Hostile Planet or whatever. Pop it. No, focus Donovan. out the Nogri. And then um, the Slicer would take the middle. No, but no. Here's, here's, here's my line. going to happen. Here's my line. You ready? Falcon pops the no middle. That can no longer happen. Falcon pops the middle. That's step one. Gets the game points, and that's the thing. Falcon drops in a CCO. CCO does CCO things to take out the Nogri. Then CCO yep. plus Rex, um, either with an allies or a crossfire, takes the oh, last one. Oh, the allies could do it. Yeah, that that could do it. Hold that's on. the line. Jim is still striking. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that just has to play its way out. Black Bomb. Off of Rex and the, uh, I the oh, Drew's in here too now. Well done. <laughs> I can't. Uh, is that games. is that it? Yeah, that's it. Wow, guys, insane. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jim, you want to know where your money was? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm curious money, what the money. And I there's like, my allies. Allies. <laughs> It's like where's I my money? money? I invoked your allies. I knew you didn't have twist in the last fight. Incredible. And I was like, oh man. I was like, like, I, like seven. Costs one. Yeah. All right. Make sure I'm remuted here. Yeah. <laughs> Send Falcon to the middle objective. Let me see. Here, here, here um, it is. The Falcon can have at the middle objective. Hey guys, in two minutes, can I interrupt you guys? Um. Can I get uh you guys are playing another game, yeah? Yeah. Alright, cool. Um in two minutes I'm gonna I'm gonna get your attention. Yeah. Good enough chance he has six and I just win the game. Guys. Um, and I was super worried about the crackback. Like having that crackback where you still have Luke, 
Like you would have yeah, had, yeah, yeah, yeah. you would have yeah. had Luke, you would have had everybody. Um, oh, I could have. Yeah, I, I think play. I had an option. I had an option to on Heartless Tactics. Okay, focus on body guy guy off of Rex. with Boba Fett, Guys, and then and hold on. Um, Sorry, and no. then there it is. Cloud City Operative Rex to uh, okay, Cloud City Operative and Rex. Did he do it? Did he pull the CCO? He pulled the CCO. Does he have? The thing. Wait, where did the money have, go? Did he draw? Have the allies? Yeah. There's a card in Edge. Does he do it? Wait, wait, it's, draw a card. It's, there it's, it is. It's the and, um, <laughs> Rex will get the bomb, and then when he focuses oh, to strike, that is he'll gain two bombs. What was, the dial went to? Yeah. Like 10, 11? 11! Put everything on loop. Eleven. I Guys, can you jump into Camino for a second? That's, that's, kind of that's some oh, crazy. Jump, yeah. The the. Can you jump into Camino? Um. Hey, can you guys jump into Camino for a second? Camino? Yeah. I mean, I think the timing, it worked out because I had three damage, but I can't kill the body. Well, I think, I was always checking, because, like, Cloud City Operative, um, can go on to your own unit. It doesn't say enemy unit, so I would have been. Guys. Even if I killed the guard. What a monster game from the two of you. <laughs> That, that was insane. ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. uh, hey, can you just drag Mitchell in? Uh, I yeah. guess. Can I? I can't I drag said, anyone. I said Donovan. Um. All right. Oh, what? Is he not? Uh, I just wanted to say I've been recording for two hours. I've been. I, I'm sure you guys have he heard me and Mick jumping back and forth and casting three games simultaneously. Um. Yeah. Hold on. I want to grab the other two. Guys, jump into Camino for one second. Okay. Into uh, my yeah, that is 11. Hey, Mitch, jump into the Camino uh, yeah. table. Yeah. That was, yeah, me on the rope. That was, uh, yeah. How many games did you play, Donovan? Two. 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 Okay. Donovan has won both. Okay. Uh, but they've been good. Yeah. They've been good. On they've been really good. Yeah. Our, fir our, fir our first <laughs> game was real strong, too. Guys, you guys uh, all oh, you, played Jim. insane games. <laughs> like, like the the Mitch Josh game might be the longest game of Star Wars I've ever watched, and it was insane. The for, both of the Donovan Donovan and uh, John Off games were tense, and the the second one was downright suicidal. Um, and the Jim <laughs> Xavier game was I, I I that game didn't end. Uh, well, no, Josh's was, game didn't end. It was, it was, it was, it was such a close game. Um, it came yeah. down to I like I didn't win a seven-seven edge battle. Um, mm -hmm. and then I, and then he did had exactly enough bombs. Oh, Jim, um, engineer for trust your feelings. Yeah. Um, oh. but but what I just wanted to say is I'm going to end this here. Um, all of these games, uh, yeah. four games between three matches. And at more or less the same time, I'm going to call this recording here. So you guys, if you want yep. to play more games, go ahead. But we have a great cast. Thanks you f to Mick for jumping in. And thank you for everyone <laughs> for playing and putting up with us bleeping in. Um, yeah. There is a record of all four of those games. There were two Donovan Johnoff games. Um, okay, yeah. Worth watching. Right. There's like parts of everything. This has been a cool stream. You guys are great. Okay. These decks are crazy. These games don't end. Um <laughs> Thank you to everyone. If anyone, anyone have anything to say before I actually cut this uh, off for longevity? No, 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 I'm good. It was uh, thanks, sort of, Colby. Yeah. thanks, Colby. You Fun. guys uh, a... rock. Thank you guys for putting thanks. up with me. Yeah, yep. yeah, right. it's been a yeah, it's been a hoot being able to bounce back.